Does 1 Timothy 1.19 teach that you can lose your salvation because it states about a person's uh, faith, seemingly their faith being shipwrecked? So let's go to it. 1 Timothy 1.19. Matter of fact, let's go up a little bit further. Let's start in verse 18. This command I entrust to you, Timothy, my son, in accordance with the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you that you fight the good fight, keeping faith and a good conscience, which some have rejected and suffered shipwreck in regard to their faith. Now, this would seem to indicate that a person could shipwreck their faith. And what does that mean to shipwreck their faith? And what is meant by their faith? Well, a couple of things that we need to understand. One, let's go to the passage and let's, we, what I want to do is I want to compare a couple of things. Notice who he, uh, who he brings up. He says, keeping uh, the faith and a good conscience, which some have rejected. Notice what he's talking about. Rejected what? Rejected what? That's the key. I think that everyone needs to understand that when the Bible talks about someone departing or rejecting or falling away, it's always talking about the noun, the faith, the tenets of the faith, the teachings of the faith, not exactly having faith, believing, not the verb, but the faith. And we know that's what he's talking about here because we go back to it. He says, keeping the faith, having rejected, rejected what? Notice what's not being spoken of. It's not being spoken of that these people here are sinning. They're, they have not shipwrecked themselves because of sin. They've shipwrecked themselves because of they have because they have rejected the teachings. And notice the names that are brought up. Verse 20, among these are Hymenaeus, and Alexander, whom I have handed over to Satan so that they will be taught not to blaspheme. Again, they are blaspheming going against a teaching. And I wanna, what I want to do is I want to kind of compare. I want to bring in a couple passages. So he, he brings up a couple of names. He brings up Hymenaeus and he brings up uh, Alexander. So let's type in over here. Let's go to 2 Timothy. And I want you to notice uh, what he's speaking of. Notice here. He says, but avoid worldly and empty chatter for it will lead to further ungodliness and their talk will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hymenaeus and Philetus, men who have gone astray from the truth. So we see that these people, they, they're not, their faith isn't shipwrecked because of sin. Their faith is shipwrecked because they rejected the tenets of the faith. The other person that he brought up was uh, uh, Alexander. In, in first in second Timothy also chapter 4 we see what Alexander has done Paul says in verse let's start in verse 14 he says Alexander the coppersmith did me much harm the Lord will repay him according to his deeds be on guard against him yourself for he what he vigorously opposed our teaching so first Timothy 119 it's not them walking away from having faith because again, the Bible knows of no person, there's no example of someone who is believing, and the Bible describes Christians as someone who is believing. The Bible knows of no one who has done that, but the Bible can speak of someone who will walk away from the core tenets, the, the core teachings of the faith, the faith, the noun, and that's just what happened with Alexander and Hymenaeus. Amen?